Hi, this is Joe, and welcome back to the shop. I've just recently picked up uh, the new Lincoln Electric Power MIG 210MP. Really nice welder. Uh, I've come across a situation, uh, and after a little uh, experimenting, I think I might be able to save you some time and or some money. Uh, let's take a closer look at this MIG gun. Uh, Lincoln says it is a um, Magnum Pro 175L. Uh, let's take off the cover. And you'll notice, uh, like most MIG guns, there's a gas diffuser and there's a contact tip. And the contact tip, of course, you change uh, when you change your wire sizes. So I have a 035 wire size here. Let's take this off. If you uh, look at this closely, you notice that the contact tip on the Magnum Pro is tapered. <clears throat> uh, my old welder, Lincoln Welder, um, uses this style which is an untapered tip and I picked these up uh, at either Harbor Freight Tools or Home Depot and at Harbor Freight I can get the uh, the 035 wire size contact tips for $7.99 for a pack of 10 or I can get the 030 wire size um, for $9.99 for a pack of 10 at Home Depot nine ten dollars respectively so I have about 20 or so of these lying around, and I figured, why not take advantage and use them up um, before I end up having to buy some more of the new style. So um, what I did was, uh, I got one of them, put it on the, uh, the wire, and tried to screw it in. And as you see, it won't screw in past maybe a, a turn or so. Uh, upon closer examination of this contact tip, let me put the gun down here. I uh, have a couple die sets here. And checking out the thread size, uh, this is a quarter by 28 thread size. Okay. And I found out that the new contact tip from Lincoln is a uh, quarter by 20, which is a national course uh, thread. So I called, or I uh, sent an email to Lincoln and uh, asked them if there was anything I can do uh, to take advantage of the old style Lincoln contact tips. Uh, may possibly change the uh, diffuser to the old style. That way I can take advantage of uh, the old tips uh, when they're all gone, I can put the new diffuser back on and uh, take advantage of the new tips. Or, uh, usually if I'm welding on the, on the weekends and I run out of contact tips, I could usually just pop over to uh, Home Depot or Harbor Freight and pick up another, another batch of these. Unfortunately, either store doesn't sell the new style contact tips yet. And I had to get these, I had to go to my local welding store uh, in, in our area, our local welding store is closed on Saturday and Sunday. So if I happen to be welding and run out of tips, I'm pretty much stuck until uh, the following um, week. Or if I remember, pick them up uh, before the weekend. Uh, and also, at the local uh, welding store, these were right around maybe $13, $14 a pack of 10. So a little bit more pricey. Um, so looking at the threads... The threads are pretty uh, similar with the exception of the coarseness. So what I decided to do is to give this a shot was to uh, go in and try to uh, broaden the thread pitch out a little bit. So by running the tap through, and again, copper is pretty soft material, so it's pretty easy to to re-thread. What I found was I could take the old contact tips, run the tap across them with the quarter by 20 pitch thread, and as you can see, this is very snug. It screws all the way in flush with the uh, gas diffuser, and Put the cap back on here. So now I can uh, take advantage of either the old style tip 
or the new style tip. So uh, again, save you a few dollars or if you happen to be in a bind and run out of contact tips, you can always pop over to a Harbor Freight or Home Depot, pick up the old style and uh, keep on welding. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tip. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos. I'll be publishing some here shortly. Thanks a lot.